Boom shakalaka, watch out if Bitcoin completes this pattern, plus the most bullish Bitcoin cross in nine years. And altcoins, all I can say is wow. Stay tuned. What's up, everyone? Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, a lot of our interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, including the most bullish cross we have seen in nine years. And altcoins are about to floor you. We ain't seen nothing yet. Before we get into it, guys, like the video, helps out a lot. Come join us on Twitter through Crypto Love. And of course, subscribe to the channel. Now, today, fear and greed at 75, down from yesterday's 79, and even higher numbers last week and before. The overall market sideways. Bitcoin at 71.15, Ethereum at 35.37, BNB at 605, Solana 197, XRP 62 cents, Dogecoin 21 cents, Cardano 65 cents, and Avalanche 54 dollars. And Bitcoin, you can see shoulder, head, shoulder. Should Bitcoin complete this pattern? You can see there's very strong support at these levels, so it's an eye to keep or a level to keep an eye on at $68,000. Should Bitcoin complete that? Well, then there's a good chance it could go all the way down completion of this pattern roughly around $54,000. So hopefully Bitcoin will find some support at $68,000. Right now it's hovering around previous all-time highs right around $70,000. Now, sharks and whales have been doing all the heavy lifting during the rally this year. They continue to accumulate more than Bitcoin being mined on a daily basis. And remember, do you know what to remember? Remember that the halving is less than a month away. So with them mining all of this, the halving is coming up soon. What's going to happen when people remember about the halving? Well, there is a lot of shorts to liquidate at $74,000. If 68 can hold and we get pushed up to 74, this is most likely going to shoot Bitcoin price up higher to the 80s and much, much higher. Right now, Bitcoin is rhyming with history. The bullish hammer candle that printed last week, it reminds how impulsive Bitcoin got when the same pattern occurred just before it passed the previous all-time high in 2020, almost exactly at $20,000 before it broke through there. Same exact bullish hammer candle, same exact previous all-time highs. Could we be having the same exact rally about to occur? Certainly could. We have evidence. The road to $100,000 is in there. We've just seen the bullish crossover from the 50 and 100 SMA after the chart pattern showed signs of reversal. So we had a pullback. We had reversal. Cross of the 50 and 100 SMA. Last time all of these things happened, look at what Bitcoin price did. Boom! Went up very dramatically. So keep an eye out because you have to remember that while we do have a buy signal here, we have one of the most bullish crosses in nine years. The last time this occurred was 2015, before Bitcoin went on from $200 to $20,000. That's a lot of Xs. I think that's 100x if my math serves me correct. So based on this, we are going much, much higher right now. A little pre-halfing pause. But Bitcoin has entered the hot fay which is kind of like the hot phase, except we don't include the S because it sounds better, like hot fay. Uh, you can have the hot fay with your hot bay. And uh, anyways, getting back to this stuff. Bitcoin is under the hot momentum phase around halving. Usually time to forget what you learn about RSI as indicating overbought or oversold. We'll stay overbought for a long time. Yes, look at how long Bitcoin stays in overbought phase previous cycles. We have just now begun to enter those levels. Could go for a lot longer. The rally could go for a lot longer. As a matter of fact, this is interesting because we were talking about this in I think a video two days ago. Almost exact same price targets based on history would be 150-ish by May and then you sell in May and go away because there's a summer tanking of the price. 70000 by summer. So it drops all the way back down and everybody who bought up here at 150 sells down here at 70. And then it rallies to $200,000 by the end of the year. Certainly a, a nice option. Also echoed in this chart right here, based on a confluence of three different charts, levels between $150,000 and $366,000 for Bitcoin would be very, very likely this cycle towards the end of next year. So that being said, Bitcoin is moving, but altcoins are really starting to move. And here's the coolest part. It hasn't even started yet. 
Yes, all coins are pumping. Real action, however, is expected as always after the halving. You can see that with the breakout, we have only broken out a little bit from this little wedge formation. Generally, after the halving is when the peak occurs. And this chart, this is the crypto total market cap excluding the top 10. Very interesting. Doesn't take a look at the top 10 coins, which is where most of the money is being stored. But if you want to make 10x, 100x, 1000x, these type of altcoins is where you're going to make it. And take a look at this. You want to see a perfect echo. Look at this. First stage right back to previous resistance on the downtrend. Same exact thing. First phase back up to previous resistance on the downtrend. And look at the final stage and where it could potentially go. That's roughly an 8x from here, maybe even more. So we'll have to see how things turn out for the rest of this rally. But as long as $68,000 holds, things are looking very, very good for Bitcoin and altcoins. And that is all for this episode. If you enjoyed it, like the video, subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. From now on, if you don't own Bitcoin, you're a moron.